Um, I was just giving my Roland uh, MIDI mother keyboard a service uh, prior to selling it on eBay, and I discovered, um, well, I hadn't used it for a long time, I discovered two of the notes didn't work. Now I've discovered that that's actually quite a common problem um, as keyboards um, age. Now when I had a look, I did all the usual things like checking the contacts, um, such as these contacts here, taking the rubber strips off, um, they were fine, uh, the ribbon cable was fine, and it was just these two notes. One piece of advice said check the tracks on the circuit board. Um, so when I looked closely, I realised that the two keys that didn't work, which was this one and this one, were actually connected. Um, and you can see the circuit track there that connects the two uh, via these um, diodes. Now, the same key up here was also connected, but this one worked. So it occurred to me that there's probably a break in the track somewhere along here. And when I looked very closely, I found there was. So all I needed to do was to bridge those two points with a little bit of wire, and now it works perfectly. So if you've got a Roland um, keyboard where some of the keys are beginning not to work, it is worth looking very closely at the tracks. And, you, and by working out which keys are connected to each other, um, and you may need to peel off the rubber contact strips here, it will help you work out exactly where the break in the tracks is likely to be. And that can save you quite a lot of money. The important thing to remember, when you're replacing these rubber contact strips, it's important to get them the right around because the velocity sensitivity is based on, uh, one, on the time interval between one contact touching the contact before the other. And they must be the right, right way around. So make sure you leave um, one of these contact strips on so that when you're putting the others on, you know to make sure they're the right way around because one of them is slightly deeper than the other.